Hey folks, it's Mr. Parsons here, and it's time to talk about today's assignment, which is the class discussion on racial identity. To begin, you will find this assignment under Q4, week four, and when you open it, you're going to see uh, a link to a slide deck. Now, this is a little bit different than class discussions we've done in the past. Typically, when we do class discussions, there's a Jamboard with three slides with questions on it, you respond with sticky notes, and then I call on various sticky notes during the discussion. But that provides a limited opportunity for us to explore the material that we're studying in class. For this assignment, I wanted to make sure that we had a um, format that would allow for a very deep exploration of the text and our thoughts and reactions to what we were reading. So for that reason, this discussion is going to be a little bit different. Let's dive in to how it's different now. When you open the slide deck, you're going to be greeted by an instruction slide. It says, find your slide, complete at least eight squares on the discussion board, and respond to the after discussion question. When you look at the slides, each slide has a name on the top left hand side. Your first step is to find the slide with your name on it. Once you've found that slide, this is the slide where your work needs to go. On the left hand side of the slide, you're going to see a table with nine boxes, each with a different task in it. Those tasks need to be completed as you complete your discussion. These space markers down the bottom are designed to help you and me keep track of your participation. So as you complete the various boxes, your job is to move these space markers into the squares once you have completed that activity. When all the space markers are on the squares, that's when you know you've completed this side of the assignment. So let's take a look at the kinds of activities that are in the boxes now. The first box says answer three questions on the Jamboard, must complete. This is the only box on the table that has to be completed. You can find the link to the Jamboard over here. When you click on it and open it, you will see that it's set up very similarly to our class discussions of recent times in that you will see different prompts that you can respond to and uh, you know, different uh, selections from the text. Some are just questions about the text. So um, you can respond to any one of those that you want, except that you have to answer three of those questions minimum on the Jamboard to get your star, uh, your, your space marker for that box. From there, you have complete autonomy. You can choose which boxes you want to complete. Some of them require you to respond to other people's work remember to be respectful and that the tone of this conversation needs to be all about learning and thinking about the text in a respectful manner. There's also a flip grid that you can access for this activity. When you open that, you will see that it's a fairly open-ended prompt and it's designed so that you can respond to these boxes on here. One thing to consider is that for this assignment, I'm expecting you to use each platform at least once. So I want to see each of you using the Flipgrid as well as the Jamboard as you complete these nine squares. Finally, you're asked to complete this after discussion question. Record any notes that you want to capture in your reader's response. What are the texts trying to say about racial identity. That's a little clue of the direction that our reader's response question is going to take. So make sure that you're thinking deeply about this question and responding in the box here. Once it's done, you're done. Good luck on this assignment. And if you have questions, make sure to ask me in class. Can't wait to see your work.